While some of us are now allowed to leave our homes, that's not the case for our most vulnerable populations dealing with this pandemic. So some local high school students decided to help get them out of the house. We're not reinventing the wheel. A lot of this technology already exists, but it's just not being implemented in the right way. This year, there were 15,000 students that took the class. And you folks, your teams were selected of all those that had the ability to present um, to be able to present tonight. Walkthrough was chosen as the People's Choice Award with 56% of the votes. We are the first incubator team from LISD to win the national pitch. So it actually started with one of our team members, Cameron Carlson. Uh, he was speaking to his grandmother over the phone in the fall uh, of 2019, and she's like 90 some years old. She's living in California alone at this point. And she was telling him that she really loved watching the History Channel because it allowed her to go places that she physically couldn't travel. And so, you know, that's where we got the idea for Walkthrough because we thought about, okay, well, Cameron's grandmother isn't the only one. What about the 1.3 million people in the 20,000 retirement homes across the country who face the same isolation-based fears or physically can't travel to go places? So that's where we got the idea to create this app to reach out to content creators and start moving into retirement homes. A huge challenge was not being able to present in person, right? Because when you're pitching a company idea, you want to be there in person because people aren't just investing in your product, they're investing in the team behind the product as well. And so a huge challenge was being able to adapt and create something that would still be engaging. Because when we originally created a slideshow, that was with the intention of being able to present in person, because they're gonna look at us 80% of the time. And the slideshow is just like supplemental material. But you know, when we tried Zoom or we tried iMovie or Final Cut and all these other softwares, an issue was, you know, we don't want judges just staring at the same slide for more than 90 seconds because their attention span is gonna have them look elsewhere. So just being able to animate that and basically turn ourselves into temporary graphic designers uh, was really a big challenge, but I think that was a learning process for the team as a whole, and also allowed us to kind of build up skills that we're gonna have to use down the road because we've kind of accepted that this is the new normal, and this is how future pitches are probably gonna look like in the next six months. We hope that this encourages other teams to, to also do the same, because we have a great program here at Vista Ridge, and I have no doubt that other teams, both current ones and incoming ones, hopefully see this as inspiration and, and know that even in a COVID-19 environment, even in an online environment, you know, when you're not physically here, all of these things are very possible.